It's supposed to be a quiet campus. It is supposed to be safe. But tonight, police are looking for a man who used a knife in the attack and robbery of a student at Franklin College. RTV6 News reporter Ebony Monet talked with the victim's friends tonight. Students were alerted of the attack outside the center via text message and email. They were told to stay inside a secure place. Then once police sweep the campus, they were given the all clear. But some students tell us they'd feel safer with an arrest. Everyone was in kind of a panic. No one knew what was going on. But basically this just says an incident had occurred on campus involving um, a man with a knife. The insulated feeling of security is compromised for students at Franklin College. I'm from Indianapolis, so it's two different worlds. So I definitely never thought I would have to deal with a safety issue being at Franklin. I'm really shocked because I've always heard that it's like really quiet here and I've never heard anything wrong going here. So it's... It's really shocking. Franklin police are investigating an armed robbery. School officials say this is the first time they've dealt with violent crime from the outside in more than a decade. That record of safety was challenged Monday night when a student was robbed outside Deet Student Center. The 19-year-old came outside to get better reception on her cell phone. That's when police say a man attacked her, punching her in the face and holding a knife to her throat, taking her wallet. Then they say a car pulling into this parking lot startled him. The man ran, cutting through the parking lot, dropping the wallet along the way. She was actually one of my close friends, and um, it, it really did scare me. And I'm a runner, so I run everywhere through Franklin, and I don't really think about these things. Franklin has 17 emergency call boxes for about 1,100 students, and school leaders say 65% of them and counting have signed up for safety text alerts. Uh, generally, you could walk across this campus at 3 a.m. in the morning by yourself and see somebody say hi and walk on by and be perfectly safe. But it's still a dumb idea to walk across campus by yourself at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, be wise. Doctors treated and released the 19-year-old, and school officials tell us she was back in class today. Reporting in Franklin, Ebony Monet, RTV6.